Hey, I'm Isaac Lateral. I'm a technology consultant and I'm here with Fallon Helm. And she has agreed to be one of the first in Aberdeen, the first to my knowledge, to try out Elon Musk's new satellite internet constellation. So we have been approved to be part of the beta program and we have received in the mail the very first satellite uh, dish that we'll be setting up here today. And I was just going to ask you what your experience is with internet out at the uh, rural areas in Aberdeen so far. Um, poor connection. Okay. What kind of speeds were you used to getting? I'm not really sure. Okay. Enough to stream Netflix in 4K for all of your children? No, actually, family? you know, now that you bring that up, um, whenever we would try and watch um, movies through even like the Apple devices, mm -hmm. we would struggle to keep the streaming connection. Okay. Well, one of the things that's different about this satellite internet constellation, uh, satellite internet has the reputation of being really slow, really laggy, you can't really play video games on it, you really wouldn't want to do something like even stream a high definition movie. So the difference with Starlink is that the constellation of satellites is, instead of a couple satellites, it's thousands of satellites orbiting very quickly, very close to the Earth. Okay, yeah. I'm excited to try it. Okay, so here we've got the Starlink package. This comes via FedEx. And the unique thing about uh, Elon Musk's businesses, which most people think of Tesla, is that it's really important that when the customer gets the product, it's able to be set up within about five minutes. They make it as simple as possible with nice clean packaging. So here are the three steps required. Number one, point the dish at the sky. Number two, plug it into your router, and number three, connect via your phone to Starlink. So this has just been designed to be extremely easy to use with very clean packaging, sort of like you'd feel uh, when you're unboxing an Apple device. I feel like Vanna White. There you go. All right, so here we have, this is the base. You can take that, place it on the ground. Looks like it's almost already set up for us. Look at this, your power cord. You don't even need to know which plug goes into which thing. And here, this is the phased array antenna. So you can see that unlike most dishes that you would have for your satellite TV, this actually has a flat surface. And that's because it, although it has a dish form in the back, the front is actually a series, a grid of very small antennas. And so when it's wanting to communicate with the satellite in the sky, it's using an electronic um, calculation to send the signal into what would be a parabolic shape. So if the satellite is over there, it will send the signal earlier here and later on this side to create a beam that actually shoots off this direction. And as the satellite moves across the sky, it will electronically change the shape of its transmission so that it will be pointing like that. And it'll, it'll be doing that constantly without even um, any moving parts whatsoever. So. It's a pretty slick device, and they're still working to bring the cost of this down. This satellite dish and setup here costs $500 to get started, and then uh, the currently current the currently the monthly service is $100 a month. So they do hope to bring that down a little bit. The cost is a difficult uh, part of the process as far as initially, but well, I'm excited. Should be pretty good. Let's set it up. Let's set it up. All right. So other than the dish, these are the other two components of the Starlink system. Right here, you have a fancy looking um, Wi-Fi router, basically, and it has, on the back of it, it's got the input where you plug it into the power supply and the satellite dish, and then it has an auxiliary, which I assume that you'd use to hook up to another home router or other home network via a hard cable. And then this is the power supply that it goes into. You can see it's color-coded and makes it really difficult to do anything incorrect. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to plug this device into the wall. Uh, the setup that we're doing right now, I thought it would be fun to actually set up the system in the backyard where there was a lot of trees around as the instructions do say that you need a clear view of the sky. And so I do expect that there's gonna be uh, difficulty in getting a consistent connection, but I do wanna, I do wanna see um, just if we can get any signal at all, even though we are in the backyard. So I'm going to plug in the dish here to the power supply. And again, if you were 
doing this in a permanent way, you would definitely want to bring this satellite dish and place it up on the roof. But here we've got the dish on the back patio. So when we took this out of the box, the metal base was on top. We placed that down and then we were able to place the dish with its little locking mechanism here into the base. And it's got two little simple locking pins like you'd see in you know, any pipe that you're, has a spring lock interconnect. Next thing we have to do is we have to connect to the Starlink system and it shows up as an unsecured network. So I just log in there. All right, the next step is it's gonna ask me to create my own Wi-Fi network. So I just make up a Wi-Fi network name, create a password. All right, then it looks like it starts orienting itself towards the sky and searching for satellite signals. This is all automated. Got the speed test pulled up, speedtest.net. I'm gonna hit go and start. We are standing right near the dish and we will see what kind of speeds we get. Holy smokes. Look at it go. Holy cow. 110. How much is it normally? It I actually think. keeps going up. Wow. So we reached 120 megabits per second in this test. Um, I mean, the satellite internet that you usually use is about 0.8 megabits. So this is about 150 times faster. I'll and take it. We set it up in about five minutes. Okay, so we got this all set up. Uh, we've done a number of speed tests and we got speeds of between 80 megabits per second and 179 megabits per second. And the slow, uh, the slow test was done while standing around the dish. And you'll see that I purposefully set the satellite internet up. I set up Starlink in the worst possible place where you could barely see the sky. There are trees all around. It's next to the house. There's a basketball hoop right there, but the dish was able to find the satellites nonetheless and get blistering speeds. I, the latency was ridiculously low. Web pages loaded faster than they do on my home internet. We're very, very excited about this. Very happy with the results. And when we go and permanently put it on the roof of the house, I think we'll see even higher speeds and more consistently. So thanks for watching us. Yeah, don't even put that part in the video. I don't need to thank you guys.